Tommy Pham is ready to throw down at any given moment, apparently. <laughs> so first things first, I just want to talk. I just want to mention this before I go into this next story too, too far, because Tommy Pham looks like a small dude, right? Like he looks, he's, he looks like a, a short, stocky dude. He is over six feet tall. He is. I looked it up today. He is six one. He's about two twenty five. And the reason he doesn't look taller is because, like I said, he's stocky. He's not long like some guys that are six footers. That he is built. And so, if I'm the Brewers, I don't want any of that smoke coming from Tommy Pham. <laughs> so this is what happened. If you have, if you didn't see it, Corey Jolks for the White Sox. He flew out to left field in the eighth inning. Tommy Pham was on third base. He tagged. Tagged up, went home, and let's play it so you can see it. So there's Jolks. Fly ball to left field. It's not super deep. In fact, left fielder has to come in. That's that's Christian Yelich. Has to come in to make that, that catch. And then Pham is out by a good 10 feet. But then right here, William Contreras, the catcher for the Brewers, is kind of waving at him as he walks back, and Pham wasn't having any of it. Bench is clear. There was... I don't think there was actually any punches or anything thrown because there wasn't any word on that, but it's just, <laughs> it's so funny because what, what Tommy Pham said after the game was he said that that's why he fights during the off season, just because off season, just because then he's ready to come in. He's ready to fight whenever he needs to. And like I said, I don't want any of that. If anybody, if he's been training to fight first off, you don't want that. And second, the dude is built, so you don't want any of that there either. But also in that same breath, uh, Tommy Pham also threw his third base coach, Eddie Rodriguez, under the bus saying he shouldn't have sent him. You know, he was doing the right thing by listening to his coach. That's what you do, and I guess that's really why you do just what your coach tells you because if it doesn't work out like that, then you can throw him under the bus say, hey, I wasn't me. He told me to go. I wasn't going to go, but he told me to. He told me I needed to. So... That was kind of a funny thing that happened this weekend. That was Sunday afternoon. And I, I love that story so much. 